If you love to write songs or poetry or raps and you're looking for ways to find rhymes more quickly, I'm going to share with you my top three methods for finding rhymes fast, so stick around. I'm gonna love you unconditionally. Take your pain, take your burdens when you're hurt and you can place it on me. Hey guys, it's Dylan Lane and today I'm going to be teaching you my top three methods for finding rhymes quickly. Before we get started, I've made you a cheat sheet to go along with this video. It'll have all of the information that I'm about to teach you typed out so you can download it and print it out or have it on your device. I'll post a link to that cheat sheet in the description box down below. In most songs, there will typically be what's called a rhyme scheme. A rhyme scheme is a pattern of rhymes at the ends of the lines in a song. I have a complete video that goes into much greater detail on this, and I'll post a link to that in the description box down below. Now, before we get into how to find rhymes for your songs, I first wanna cover why rhyming or not rhyming is so important. Whenever we're listening to a song and we're singing along, either out loud or in our head, we can typically predict what the next line is going to end with. Why? Because honestly, we're expecting a rhyme. Because of this, our brain automatically goes into predict the rhyme mode. Okay, even if you're not the kind of person who subconsciously predicts the rhymes to the ends of each line, you can probably relate to the following fact. Rhymes create a sense of stability or comfort or familiarity for us as listeners. I want you to think of one of your favorite songs and sing the first verse out loud. Were there any rhymes in it? If so, I want you to sing the first verse again, but this time replace the rhyming words with other words that don't rhyme. Sing the new version out loud and observe if it makes you feel uncomfortable at all. Does something feel off? Incomplete? This example perfectly sets up my next fact, which is this. Not rhyming creates a sense of instability or discomfort in us as listeners. Now that we have these two facts to work with, we can eliminate the thought process that rhyming is good and necessary and not rhyming is bad and unskillful. Instead, we can use these two facts to better guide our listeners' emotions whenever they're listening to our song. Is your song about uncomfortable and unstable emotions? If so, consider not rhyming throughout your entire song. Maybe just choose a few rhymes to eliminate and see how that makes you feel. Is your song about stable and comfortable feelings? If so, then I personally would suggest rhyming throughout the entire song. Whether you choose to rhyme a lot or a little, it's definitely helpful to know how to find rhymes quickly, which is the sole purpose of this video. Method number one, probably the quickest and easiest method, is to use a website like rhymezone.com. I'm not a affiliated in any way with this website, it's honestly what I've personally used forever to find rhymes when I need them quickly. I use this website on my computer and I also have it bookmarked on my phone for easy on-the-go access. The website is super simple to use. The second you arrive on the website, it prompts you to type the word that you are wanting to rhyme with. After you press search, you are then given multiple syllable options as well as near rhyme options. Method number two involves no internet, just in case I don't have access to any internet when I need to find rhymes quickly. If you're looking for a rhyme but you don't have internet or a computer or a phone nearby, then write the word down that you're trying to rhyme with. Now write that word down again, but this time replace the first letter of the word with the first letter in the alphabet, which is A. For example, if I want to rhyme with the word care, I would write the word care down, then I would write it down again, but this time I would replace the C with an A, and then I would give it correct spelling, in which case we'd have the word air. I would then repeat this process with every letter of the alphabet until I find the word that I want to use as a rhyme. Using this method with the word care would give us air, bear, dare, fair, hair, and the list goes on. Now this doesn't mean that those are our only rhyme options for the word care, but again, it's a quick and easy way to find rhymes without the use of the internet. The third method is to carry around a physical rhyming dictionary. This might be a little bit less practical unless you carry around a big purse or a backpack, but it is definitely another very useful option to have. If you think you'd be interested in purchasing a rhyming dictionary, I'll link down below some of my favorite options. And that's it, my top three methods for finding rhymes quickly and simply. I hope that you like them and that it helps you out tremendously. Now go forth and write wonderful things with wonderful rhymes or not rhymes. <laughs> and until next time, remember to play, write, and spread the light. Joy comes for free, oh, it's living inside of me, dancing through my veins. Oh, what I found, baby's twirling around and round, why would I 
she's playing.